All right, welcome back, welcome back. Well, honey, you know I had to end that video. I had to wrap up my belongings, you know, and get from the places where I was at because it is about, curfew is about to strike, okay? <laughs> right now, it's 717, and I just, I'm at the Blue Dolphin right now, and this lady is trying to come by my car. She ain't, I'm not rolling down my windows, though. Thank you. You can just slide it through. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she thinking that she gonna get all up in my window. I'm like, uh-uh, girl. And I don't even got my mask on. And she ain't got hers on either. So she she's a little bit too close. She's closer than social distancing. What is it? Three or six feet? <laughs> okay, so anyways, earlier we already discussed um, you know, the coronaviruses and how to protect your family, you and your family, and um some of the um ways to contract it in the first place okay oh lord here, here she coming she coming back again mm -mm. This is your soup. thank you ma'am okay. all right have all a right, good one a child it's getting real out here you can't even go inside the restaurant no more that was my whole part of having fun i just get to walk you know i like to walk around and talk to people they're trying to steal my fun <laughs> but anyways back to what uh, we were talking about some of the hair tips um that you can use during the coronavirus because we are learning now that this is which i already kind of knew that this um this is you contract this uh virus by in open air so it's very susceptible for you to catch it when you're out that's why they're instructing everybody to stay at home do frequent traveling and earlier, I don't know if you discussed the other video, you heard the, um, the main video, part one, but we discussed, you know, drinking um, warm water every 20 minutes if you're out, um, making sure that you gargle if you notice any type of um, throat um, type of discomfort or feel like you're coming down with the cold. And also, um, if you do feel like, um, you know, that you're having soreness in your throat, then you need to gargle every, I believe it was once an hour with vinegar. So, you know, it's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, yes, that's the word, airborne. This um, virus is airborne. And one of the things, um, we're bringing that out today because um, when something is airborne, that means you can just walk out and boom, <laughs> you can get it. So it might, it might not be that easy, but if it's in the air, maybe somebody sneezed and it's, you know, it's been in the area. Or maybe somebody sneezed and they got some droplets on their hand and they gave you a handshake and then you ain't got no gloves on and then you know the rest. Okay, so these are one of the hair tips that you can do to protect you from corona number one tie your hair up in the rag when you're out or wear on wigs you know i love to wear wigs and a lot of people ask me why do i wear wigs i have very long hair ha ha now <laughs> now this is just an excuse but this is a way that you know i can protect i don't have to have my own hair out with the coronas and getting all the viruses on my hair because my hair is very long um, you know, and I don't want to um, have to be shampooing it too often unless, you know, now, so um, that that's that trip. That's that um, that um, first tip, um, and wrapping your hair up. And the other thing that we learned from the other video is that with this virus or anything that you got on your body, you need to be disinfecting it with, um, you know, I was speaking about alcohol and different concoctions with um, essential oils and different things of those natures to help um, get any type of um, particles and things off of your body, um, viruses. Also, um, so, you know, with, with this head wrap, once you have that wrap on your head, and I know some of y'all be wearing them, especially men, this for y'all too, some of y'all be wearing that same old dirty do-rag. I mean, it's just be having this time, honey. And now they got that silk wrap. I had to, I had to even... Um, you know, look at myself because, you know, I'm not used to wearing a lot of stuff on my face, but I guess because my skin is a little bit sensitive, I have to make sure that I wash it very frequently because um, I guess, um, you know, you can start to break out. So anyways, um, back to the men of the do-rags and with the women with the scarves. Once you wear that scarf now, since you've been out in the elements, the minute that you step in the house, you need to take off your clothes, put it in a trash bag and including your hair wrap for this um, conversation. And you need to do what we talked about in the first video. Now, this is something new. Now, I don't know if you can fully do this. I know back in the day, I worked at this hair salon, which I will not say where. But we used to put um, 
Girl, we used to put hair rollers in the microwave, honey. We put all types of, um, girl, we could virgin hair bundles in the microwave, girl, with gel crisped up and spritz. Y'all probably know who I'm talking about if y'all my friends, some of my family that, you know, they used to uh, go to this musician, but I didn't even know that um, you would be able to do something like that, you know, without it setting on fire. You know, don't do it with synthetic hair, though. I know a lot of y'all don't have y'all beauticians, so don't get too creative because you probably will, um, you know, you're going to come out with the, you may mess around and burn something up doing that. Um, but, you know, so I learned from her that you can use a microwave for certain things. Also, in conjunction um, to using the microwave, you know, to put ponytails. This is back in the day with people with ponytails and high ponies, you know, high updos and things like that. Um, you know, I, I was watching The Real, and they said that you can use your sponges that are around your house, I guess, that have been, you know, I guess been contaminated by, you know, regular um, usage. Because they, a lot of, you know, um, I, must, I don't necessarily like to use sponges a lot because it's like you're absorbing, reabsorbing all the contaminants and the bacteria just keep forming and forming up in your sponge day by day. You know, so um, it's like pretty much every time that you wash your dishes, you are breeding bacteria back onto them. So it's kind of like a defeating the purpose. I guess the soak in bleach, you know, soaking your um, utensils in bleach water could do this as well. But um, anyways, back to, the, back to what we were saying about the sponges. You can put a sponge in the microwave for one minute and it's supposed to, you know, dispel of any bacteria. So I don't know if you guys want to try this. I may even try it myself. You might probably want to spray a little bit of water dampness on the, um, you know, you don't want to drench it, but just maybe a couple of drops full of the, um, you know, water on the, uh, the, the do rags and then let it sit, in, you know, put on there for one minute and kill any germs. And also they have something out on the market called a laser wand. The laser wand can kill all dust mites, bacteria. They can be purchased on Amazon. And you pretty much, it looks like a, a wand and you can just go up and down on your clothes and body and on any surfaces. It kills bacteria and viruses. The other suggestion that I have is co-washing your hair um, daily. And um, now, because you know, they said you have to wash your hair if you're going to go outside. Now, if you stay inside, you know, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> I guess I guess you can still wash your hands just to be safe. But anyways, um, you, you want to co-wash if you're going to wear your natural hair and if you have a relaxer or natural tresses, tresses then you need to um, shampoo um, co-wash method. The co-wash method, you know, it's not my favorite method, but I believe it's good if you're going to have to be doing it thoroughly. I know if I was a nurse or something like that, honey, I would be washing, spraying, hydrating, and sectifying. I, girl, I have bobbed all the sea breezes online. Because sea breeze is a natural antiseptic and it helps to kill the um, scalp um, bacteria on the scalp. And I believe talk, talc. I, I, I heard online, I think some people are using talc. I would just be pouring, I'd be spraying it down, honey. Corona wouldn't even want to come near me after all the stuff I spray on my body. <laughs> and for those who don't agree with the co-washing, um, a non-sulfate shampoo would be great if you're going to frequently shampoo. Because you don't want to dry out the hair with the um, strong detergents out there in the market. The next thing we're going to be um, talking about, which we um, kind of already addressed earlier, was a spray antiseptic mix. Spray, um, spray an antiseptic mix in your hair. Um, mixed with water, conditioner, and maybe even apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar on the, um, I believe, on the pH scale is acidic, which causes it to close the cuticle. Your hair's natural um, acidity, and I think your even your skin is like a 4.5 to 5. So, you know, um, you know, using the apple cider vinegar will help. Some people actually shampoo their hair with apple cider vinegar. Now, that's even another um, trick. If you don't want to use shampoo or have too much, pro buy too much product, since a lot of people are trying to save money during this time, just buy apple cider vinegar mixed with water. You know, probably only need like a one ounce per every four to eight ounces. It's very, especially if you get the organic kind with the mother. Now, that's the kind that I would suggest to get the one with the mother. And when I say mother, it has a lot of, um, I guess, particles and probiotics all at the bottom, just swimming all around, looking all nasty. That's the one that you need to get. <laughs> okay. Then um, we have two, uh, two or three more tips after this. Get you a protective style or a wash and go style. Now, you know already that they've been telling you online to use um, that alcohol 
will help um, get this um, any type of a bacteria off of you. So, you know, if you're going to be outside and doing a lot of different things and working around a whole bunch of people, maybe you're working at the grocery store, use alcohol based products. You know, maybe you want to apply a mousse throughout your hair, maybe throughout the day if you or, uh, you know, freshen up when you go home. You know, this is just to, you know, consistently make sure that you ain't got no corona up in your head. I don't care, even if you had to spray your hair every couple hours. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if you're around a lot of people, you can't really control it unless you're going to wear one of them grandma. Um, I remember the, uh, the people that used to be in the cafeteria line back in elementary or high school. Unless you're going to wear one of them, honey, then, hey, you better give it the program. So we'll talk about the alcohol, the antiseptics. That helps to kill bacteria. Now, another um, style and tip is to get a wig or weave. Protective hairstyle. Your hair won't even be out, baby. That means you can spritz and spray and it's set down and everything else. You don't got to be worrying about none of them naps reverting back, you know, or having to wash that hair, that long, black, curly hair, or that thick, coarse hair, rug hair every day. You don't have to worry about none of that, honey. Okay. And when we're talking about spraying down the hair, you don't have to drench it. Just make sure that it's evenly distributed. Now, this is the last thing. Um, now, we already talked about this in the other videos. To take CBD and adaptogen herbs and eat healthy green vegetables and also juicing. Juicing has been very essential to my lifestyle and helping to rebuild uh, my immune system. I've noticed a big difference with my energy levels, me getting more deeper sleep, me feeling more fuller. So many things have occurred. And, and one of the most basic um, things that you can, um, things to juice, I can give you a couple of right now. If you're not suffering, um, if you have sugar issues or issues man managing sugar, then you may want to supplement maybe one to two tablespoons of a coconut oil or fat and two um, your smoothie and add a protein uh, smoothie. They have a lot of organic ones. One of my favorite ones is um, Perium. I shop Perium. They have a, 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 a excellent um, organic um, protein powder that is vegan based. So um, those are some of the tips and that can um, help to further grow your hair and also keep your immune system nice and safe while you're going about doing your thing. I know a lot of people are still at home, but these are for the essential workers, those who have to um, still work with people and, um, you know, still have to go to the grocery store or whatever that you be doing. Okay. Hey, so that was, we thank you so much for your time. You have any more questions, inbox me for details and I probably will be selling masks within the next couple of weeks. I will notify you when I get the shipment. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Be safe and get off that road, honey, for the popo pull you over. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>